I was working with the Ugandan government doing sexual and gender-based violence prosecution. I represented a homeless woman before a social security judge and got her denial of benefits reversed. In my work with the environmental law clinic, we filed a lawsuit against EPA. There's just a lot of veterans out there with a lot of legal problems and issues. I realized how important law was to solving people's problems. I was able to work on a team that drafted and passed legislation in Nevada, eliminating juvenile delinquency fees. I came into Berkeley knowing I wanted to do the death penalty clinic, and so it's really felt like a capstone for my legal education. Hundreds of students have contributed to fighting for justice in those in those individual clients' lives and cases. My family was able to immigrate uh, through this asylum slash refugee program. Pro bono work is really important to me because my family has benefited from it throughout my life. At Berkeley Law, you see those students who not only want to work in the law, but want to also break the law. That come to law school with a vision that is much greater than who they are, much greater than their own individual ambitions. I have a love of voice and not afraid to use it. The reason I came to Berkeley Law is because of the pro bono culture. It's important to keep this part of our society up and able and believing in what this country stands for. Pro bono work you know, it nourishes you. They really are bringing their stories, their parents' stories, their grandparents' stories. They're bringing their full humanity to the table. That's, I think, present in every single Berkeley Law student. I don't think there's another law school in the country that's a strong public mission that literally permeates everything we do. I think the question we should be asking is, why shouldn't we be doing pro bono? Stepping up is something that's part of the Berkeley Law student DNA. And there has yet to be a moment where I have put out a call that didn't have a response. In every place we go, then we speak up for the people that need our voice. Berkeley Law students are absolutely unique and radical in their drive to dismantle our systems. Laws have been written by students at Berkeley Law. We had a client released who initially was on death row. We actually had the pleasure of being there at the gate of San Quentin to welcome him and take him to breakfast when he got out. For me, one of the most meaningful experiences I had at Berkeley Law was working with a young person in clinic and getting him off probation. His mom was there in the courtroom and seeing them embrace was a really powerful moment. The work that we do should be love. My dad, especially, has really come around to seeing that his law degree is for him. We're trying to use this degree that's an immense amount of privilege to do something for the greater good. Berkeley Law gave me a platform and that space to let me grow into the person that I am. I'm excited to get my hands dirty. One day I'll be a judge myself. In some small way I'm able to make the community better, make the country better. These systems can be more creative, more innovative, more empathetic and there is something so energizing about being, you know, the single person standing up for, for that person that everyone else is trying to, to silence and lock away, to recognize the humanity of the person who's sitting across from you. And that's pretty powerful. You will be a part of the Berkeley School of Law family for the rest of your days. Class of 2020. Your commitment to pro bono astounds and inspires. And I know that you're not going to stop. This is only the beginning. I think this class is full of people who are just not gonna be patient with things not being the way that they need to be. And if you see this moment and remind yourselves why you came to law school, 
then it will be really one of the most exquisite and memorable moments of your life.